Hey guys, what's up? Uh, Bite Monkey here, and I'm bringing you guys a tutorial today on how to do reflections inside of uh, Cinema 4D. And yes, I know this is also another tutorial where it involves a plugin that you have to buy or you have to get off the internet. So I'm gonna get back to After Effects tutorial soon. But yeah, and uh, sorry for the inactivity for tutorials. Been meaning want to to do this tutorial a couple months ago, but. I'm finally getting to it now, so let's get started. So, first thing what you're going to need to do is make your text. Of course, I made mine. Got a good font, Kano. It's really nice. And yeah, type reflections because it's a reflection tutorial. So, what you're going to do first, you're going to double click right here. I'm going to make a new material. And shit low. There you go. Then you're going to double click on your material. Then you're going to go to color. Basically, what you need to do is you're going to need to click whatever color you want. So, for this map, I kind of like yellow on this map. So, I'll kind of just try that and just leave that the same. Then, you're going to click off specular, click on reflection. Then, you're going to go up to the brightness. And you could leave it on white, but that's I don't really find that the reflection looks well with it. So, we're just going to go to yellow. And you're going to go up to the lightest shade of yellow, roughly. And you're going to want to turn your reflections down just a little. So say it's about like 90, should be good. Then you're going to click off. Now you're going to put it on your text. Let's get it right here. Then we're going to render it, see what it looks like. And you see right now, you really see like no reflections. And this is a problem that a lot of people have is that they don't know how to turn on the reflections. So basically what you need to do, I'm going to go up to the cube right here. I'm going to hold on to it. I'm going to click the spear and I'm going to open it. And by the way, this is not a proper motion track. It's just, I just got this just so I can show the reflections. It's not only about the motion track, it's about the reflections. So this has come up. Bring this over here, drop it down. I'm gonna click this. You can just make it big. I'm just gonna make it really, really big. You can make it how big as you want, doesn't really matter. Make it as big as you want. The computer's being really slow right now for some reason, but yeah. And then what you're gonna do, you're gonna grab the material of your background, you put on your spear, and on this, you're gonna hit. A spherical because it's a spear and that's just gonna show that's how the material is gonna uh, fit on it so now what you're gonna do you're gonna right click on the spear go to cinema 4d tags go to compositing once you're there you're gonna click cache shadows click off receive shadows and click off see my camera then you can click on compositing background and when you're done that you just can double click this right here till it goes red and that will it's got again that will hide it off of your comp so you don't have that big thing there. So when you render, you're gonna see you have minor reflections. They're not really good, they look kind of bad. So we're gonna kinda tune up these reflections as soon as it's finished loading. Okay, so this is um kind of important too. A couple things you're gonna do to make your reflection look better first is Enable your caps. Make sure you have fill the caps on because this makes it look a lot better if there's fill the caps. So we're just gonna render. You're gonna see the reflection reflection looks a little better. Now this is kind of just a plain reflection. It doesn't look that great. So what we can also do is click on your material. Let's wait for it to load. And you're gonna go back to where it says specular. You're going to click it on, and I know in a lot of tutorials to say click it off, but you're going to click it on on this one. You're going to go to Metal, and you're going to change the width to 70, height to 60, fall off negative 24. Now, they don't have to be these exact numbers, but it has to be around this range. And if you get this, you know you're doing it right. So when you render it, you're going to see the reflection gets a little more damp. Once you do it, I guess it's like kind of darker, I guess you could say, but the reflection looks a lot better. Now, 
this is an okay reflection. I don't think it's really that good. Um, partially because the map isn't really suitable, but it's okay. But um, another thing that you can do, which will make the reflections look really nice, is gonna copy and paste this uh, material by pressing Control C, Control V. So, there we go. I just made two. Whatever. Yep, and then we're gonna go back up the color. We're gonna change the color to black. We're gonna go to reflections. You're also gonna change the reflection to about for black, kind of grayish, kind of whitish, not too bright, but not too dark. You can bring the reflections up to a hundred or about ninety cent. That's good. And then we're gonna click off. And you're gonna add this onto there, and you're gonna switch this over. Make sure you switch this over, and then wait a minute, sec one one second actually. Okay. Okay, I just had to make sure something was checked off. But yeah, and you're gonna click on this, and click on it. It's gonna go to the peg. I'm gonna go to selection and make sure you have capital on. You're gonna click C1. And what this does, this makes this material go behind that. So when you render it, you're gonna see this. You're gonna see you have black behind it, and that kind of makes it look a lot better. You can also do this with uh, white. You can also just duplicate this again. So I could just duplicate duplicate this um material again. Do the same thing you did this time, but make the color white. Just make it white. Make the reflection white. And make sure the reflection's at a hundred. Switch this with that. Render, and then you're gonna see your background's gonna be kind of a chromish, whitish, clear reflection kind of, which look kind of nice. So yeah, but our reflection still doesn't look so great. It's okay, but it's not really great. So what we can do is we can double click on this. We can go to our tech. Make sure you're on reflection. Go to texture. Click color. You're gonna get this color white, just leave it like that, and make sure you go to mix mode and you hit it to multiply. Because if you leave it at normal, it's you're gonna see that it's gonna look just like this. So what you're gonna need to do, you're gonna click it, go to multiply, and then it's gonna keep its color. I'm gonna do the same for these two. Color, multiply. And I'm just going to switch this one back over to black because I like black better in this map. And then you're going to render. And you're going to see that the reflection looks kind of better. And it looks kind of sharper. It looks nicer. And you might not notice right now, but when you move your cinematic, you notice the reflections get a lot better. Now what you also can do is you're going to click on the light. And as soon as you get your light, you're going to see that your text is going to go kind of dark. As soon as this loads, computer's really slow. Uh, come on. Hello. Uh, whatever's making me light. Oh my gosh. Um, when this light loads up, I'll pause the video. Okay, never mind, it loaded. So you're going to delete this one. Then you're going to get your light. You're going to lift it up. It's going to rotate it so it's facing the right direction. Should be good. You're going to click on it. You're going to drag it down. You're going to move it a little to the side. 
and you're just gonna move it back a little. We're gonna have to zoom out on this one just so we move back to what it needs to be. You move back until you see it's kind of light. And then you're gonna duplicate it, control C, control V. And then you're gonna move it over. Move this back a little bit. And then when you go back to your cinematic, you're gonna do this and you're just gonna see it kind of makes it a little better sometimes the light might mix might make the reflection look better sometimes it might make it look worse it really depends so yeah and that's pretty much how you do reflections in here you could also for the background text you can delete this you could go right here go on to this um click on to your material uh, why is it giving me the circle? Yep. Delete C1. You're going to duplicate the text. Control C, Control V. You're going to take this text off. You're going to put black on it. Oh my bad. Control Z. You're going to take the material off, not the text. You're going to then use a rotation tool to get kind of a good idea to where it is um that's actually good just gonna zoom in a little just so you can see the text Move back a little oh, sorry about this computer's acting really wacky lately but yep you're gonna just go over to right here where you see your text. You're gonna go to its it's called its def loads. Oh god. Uh, I'll be right back when this is done. You know, just Okay guys, I'm back. So like I said, what you're gonna do, you're gonna decrease the depth by like a little, probably around 70. You're gonna get your text. Nope. You're gonna move it just back a little. Um, that should be good. Then you're gonna click on it, you're gonna go to the caps, and you're gonna bring up the radius on fill the cap one just by little. And you do and you just do the same on this too. Then when you're done, you're gonna go back to the original start point. I'm gonna render it. I'm gonna see that it just looks a lot better now. As you can see, this looks really, really nice. And yeah. So that's pretty much what you can do to make your reflections look really nice. You can also, if you want, you can add glow on it. I like it's, I don't really use glow a lot, but you could use glow, and it will, it will also look kind of nice too. So um, yeah, and I'll probably put like a description, like no, I won't. But um, yeah, just put glow on it if you find that the reflections isn't good enough and. It just looks really nice. Like the glow is not the glow doesn't show until the whole picture is rendered. So you're gonna have to wait a little while to see the whole picture get rendered first. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much how you make reflections. Uh, it's not really difficult to do. It's really easy. And then you see when you put glow on it, it's gonna pop up soon. It's gonna look really nice, but. Yeah, just, yeah, I see, it doesn't really look good on this map, so I'm not going to put glow on it, but yeah. So, that's pretty much how you guys make reflections in Cinema 4D. Uh, not really much to do, you know. You could experiment. Also, when you're rendering, you could put on global illumination to make your, you know, go to effect and go to global illumination. Uh, but beware though, this is a uh, CPU intensive effect and it will make your render time like doubled. So 
if you have a lot of RAM, use it. If you don't, it won't really make a big difference. So, yeah. So this is pretty much it. Um, it's been Trail Monkey and well, not Trail Monkey, Bite Monkey. Sorry. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.